I'm doing some actual work here. Men should have more feelings. Telling the truth. Most of the time I just sit here on my laptop and work on now visual effects for my French feature film. Before that, two marketing campaigns for restaurant chains, hotels, posters. I did graphic design. I did Facebook advertisements, the whole deal, the whole marketing package. But then again, who wants to see an ugly man sit on his computer all day? Actually, the coffee started working, so I gotta, I gotta go release the Kraken. Nothing there. Nothing. No booty. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Hey, wait a minute. What's happening over here? <laughs> That's why the cats are running away. And here too. Dirty Buddhists. Fat Buddha. Skinny Buddha. Buddhist wrestling. It's called Break Thine Back. <laughs> So, let me explain why I'm interested in hormones right now. First of all, I figured out that happiness or confidence or motivation or any one of these things, they don't really come from outside sources based on a lot of studies. Well, like outside sources, external things can affect them like temporarily, but mostly the baseline comes from inside. But what affects that thing inside of you that gives you confidence or motivation or happiness or whatever? Well, hormones. Okay, logical. So how can you affect hormones? And that's what I wanted to do. But first, I went to check my hormones. <laughs> I measured a bunch of different hormones, but right now I'm just gonna focus on one to get started on this quest, and that is the male hormone, testosterone. That's a great thing to start from, and I knew that that can be done. Testosterone can be affected through biohacking, through uh, diet, exercise, all of these things. So that's a great place to start. And I've done that about a month and a half now, and I've got the results in right now. The range of testosterone here is from 0.5 to 9.8. Just put it right here. And uh, mine right now, after all these tests, is 9.62, which is almost in the highest range it can be. Then again, this is an Asian scale, so I don't know. But anyway, so I probably raised it about 30, 40, maybe 50%. I don't have the results from like a year ago, so it's really hard to tell. But throughout the month, month and a half, it's raised about 30 or 40%. I don't know which things specifically raised it, but I can tell you which things I did during the month and also how it felt. Check that out. Eating some great burgers. Jamie's burgers. We are watching a theater show right now. The view is still 
pretty cool. Oh, it's not th almost 360. It's can't see you. Mar. Yeah, can we see outside at all? Yeah, yeah, we can actually see. <laughs> Well, good morning! We are in Suratani on our way to the Paradise Islands. Okay, first of all, how did I feel with lower testosterone? Well, feel is a right word because I did feel a lot of things, like a lot more moody, sad, like depressed, like lack of motivation, just totally. Total lack of motivation. But that did make me want to do like gothic music or some like write sad songs and stuff like that. But on a general basis, I had a lot more moods and sometimes I was crying like a little bitch. I mean, at the time, I didn't quite know what was wrong. Something was wrong. All right. How does that measure to now? Well, now I feel more confident. I feel motivated. I wake up in a good mood, just like a general good mood every day. It's like a state that I'm in. It's just, I'm good. Life is good. Everything's good. I don't freak out, even if something weird happens, even if the worst thing in the world happens, I'm like, all right, this is what we gotta deal with. Like yesterday, my friend Tissy's got her uh, toe wall split open. I'll show that in the vlog too. Running on the red lights, the middle finger was a peace sign, yeah. We were sipping on emotions, smoking and inhaling every moment. On the beach with a bitch. It was reckless and we owned it. Yeah, yeah. We were high and we were so high. We were on and we were over. We were young and now I'm older. But I do it all again. Getting drunk on the train track. Way back on my drive for cigarettes. Oh, ten dollars was a fat sack. I do it all again. Oh, got my jacket and the snapback. Your dad. Again. Again. That's my place where I live. Oh god. Hurt your toe a little bit. But they'll put it together. I hope so. Yeah. Because it hurts a lot. Yeah, I can I can tell. And I was super calm. Just confident, said, okay, we gotta go to the taxi. Now we're gonna get you to the hospital. We're gonna fix this. And that's it. There was no crying. There was no running around or fainting or anything else. People always talk about men should have more feelings or show their feelings more. I don't really agree on that because I've seen the scale on just testosterone, what it does to you. And when you have low levels of it, yes, you are moodier, bitchier like a little girl on her period. But a man with a decent amount of testosterone should just be confident, focused. One thing is focus too. Now I feel a lot more focused on things that I actually want, goals. I can be strategic without being moody and feeling like, ah, oh, I don't feel like doing that right now. That doesn't matter. I wake up and I do that thing.
decision. Decision making becomes so much easier with more testosterone. Let's say a simple scenario where actually I go to a restaurant. I go to the restaurant here a lot, so this happens every day. And I used to go to a restaurant and be like, what do I order? I open the menu, I just scroll through it, I have no idea what I'm gonna order. I order something, I'm like, ah, I shouldn't have ordered that, I should order the other thing, should I get this? I ask people or I ask the waiter. Now I go into a restaurant and I'm like, I got the chicken, that's it, I want chicken right now. And I don't care if I got the right option or the wrong option, I made a choice and I'm gonna stick with that. It doesn't matter what else I could have picked. And that just became so much easier. Like small decisions, big decisions, anything with more testosterone. Or so I've noticed in my life again. I just keep on repeating that so people realize that. One other thing that becomes a lot easier is telling the truth, just honesty. Of course you gotta practice honesty a lot, but testosterone, that confidence and not being afraid of speaking the truth helps a lot. And those were just the benefits that I realized and felt myself. Of course, there are a lot, well, I don't want to get hit by the fucking car. <laughs> that I didn't see yet or I didn't realize. I can put the chart right here. Some of these things are like hard to actually see in your everyday life, but I hope those happen too. Also, I just realized standing up taller and also speaking louder and probably lower too are some of the things I've realized that happened. Uh, so yeah, then you might ask me, how did you do that? How did that all happen? And I will let you know right now. fourth major things I did. The first one is my diet. I started eating more, just more food, not caring about what kind of specific foods it was. It turns out that any restrictive diet is worse uh, for your testosterone than a non-restrictive diet when you even if you eat some crap like even the standard American diet and by the way I switched islands while recording this so this is actually Kopanga not Kosamui. Uh, second thing is I put fats in my food like butter, coconut oil, olive oil that stuff is great for testosterone. Number two, started lifting heavier, just heavier in general. Again, it doesn't have to be a certain program or anything. Whatever workout program works, if you just lift heavier every time you go to the gym. Just squats and deadlifts and fucking just lift heavy. And that reminds me of the third thing, which is to sleep more, just to rest more. If you sleep like seven hours a night, you can't produce all that testosterone. Like every hour you sleep more, I think your body produces 20% more testosterone. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I've heard and that's what I felt myself. So sleeping almost 10 hours a night and you will do that. If you lift heavy, you'll definitely sleep a lot more. And the fourth thing was quite simple too. I just put my shoulders back and I open myself up. Oh, like that. Apparently there's evidence that that produces more testosterone and this doing this reduces your testosterone. So small things like that. So I try to do that every day. Open myself up. Also this one, just having your arms up. The winner position makes you a winner. <laughs>